What's up, Ant City, and welcome to the first of three very different videos for the channel. So, in today's video, we're going to be discussing Dokkan Battle, which is something I haven't really done much on the channel. I've only done a few videos on it here and there, mostly just like the super attack references is really all I've done for Dokkan, actually. But for this video, we're doing something a little different. So, obviously, I'm a pretty big Dokkan player. You know, I played it a lot on my own time. I don't really do videos on it or anything, but I do play it, like I said, a lot on my own time, and I've been playing it ever since it came out, like six years ago. So I've had this game for a while, and you know, I, d I just, for fun, decided to make this PowerPoint, which I'm about to show y'all, of my concept for possible celebrations that they could do in Dokkan that they haven't done yet. So as you can see, the very first one here is a Resurrection F celebration. Um, this is actually going to be a dual Dokkan Fest celebration, uh, so this could be like an anniversary or worldwide. I, like, I don't really have a time slot for when they would do these celebrations, but this is just my concept of what I think they could do for a celebration just themed around Resurrection F. So there's actually three videos, like I said, so you could go watch the other two parts if you want to, but in this first video I'm going to explain. So, you know, basically how it's all going to work. So, like I said, I don't have a time slot for when these celebrations happen. So, I don't know if this would be like an anniversary or when they would do this. But if they do decide to finally do a celebration themed around Resurrection F, this is just a concept of what I think could work. So, the very first section of this is going to be the two main LRs for the Dual Dokkan Fest. So, we're going to go ahead hop straight in. So, the very first LR is a base Goku here. So, so the fact that it's base Goku, I'm sure you guys can guess who the second LR is going to be. But let's just talk about the base Goku for now. So I think that the art should be the scene right here. Like you see, he's in base form and he's charging up to Super Saiyan Blue. So I think what they could do is have like a, you know how LRs like move around and have effects. So kind of like what they did with UI Goku, how his hair, like if you know AGL, LR, UI Goku, his hair kind of like flashes every so often. So they could have this Goku like transition into this like glowy aura looking thing which funnily enough does kind of actually look like ultra instinct now that i'm thinking about it but yeah they could have it like have them transition to this or they could have this like in the background behind them or something i don't know but i think this should be the art and this should be included into the art so with that being said the second lr is you probably guessed it base vegeta so again just the scene when he's like powering up and transforming and they include the little blue aura or like i guess impact frame i don't i don't know what you would call this but this little part like right before he goes blue so yeah so the two main allies would be a base goku and vegeta and we're gonna get more into them so the first thing we're gonna look at for the goku is his two super attacks so these are just things i made up unfortunately for all of these there's not gonna be any sound because i don't want to run into like copyright issues and stuff so i probably I'm not just going to like leave you guys in silence though while I play them. So I might just talk through them. So the first one is what, uh, this is just something I threw together for Go base Goku's 12 key. So, you know, they can just pull scenes from the Resurrection F when he's fighting Frieza. I really want them to include this elbow though and the sledgehammer part. And the reason for that, which I'll let it play out real quick. So yeah, Frieza goes down, the splash. So the main reason I included the sledgehammer and all that is because of this shot right here with the water splashing at the very end that for some reason that to me when i was like looking through clips of what to use for the super attacks that to me screamed dokkan like that what i'm seeing for it is that that would be the screen where the like the damage numbers show up and everything and you see how much damage you actually did to the enemy to me that screen just screamed a dokkan like i guess ko screen you could call it just the screen where the damage actually like the numbers show up that to me screamed that, but I mo mainly, like I said, the beginning part was just random punches and kicks, you know. They could pull anything, but I really like this elbow. I think it was really cool. And then the sledgehammer, which I think just kind of fits. Uh, and then I don't know what they would like name the move or anything like that, but 
that would be really cool. But yeah, m the main parts for me are just this elbow. Oh, wait, I, I passed it. This elbow right here, and then the sledgehammer. To me, those are just the coolest parts. of Because I, I was looking through the base Goku fight. I even went to the anime base Goku fight. Really not much to use from that, actually. So I this is all going to be like from the movie, the, go the 18 key, too. So speaking of the 18 key, yeah, let's go ahead and watch that. So as you can see, this first shot, I main I picked this as the very first shot of the super attack just because I think it looks so cool with the like Goku's like getting posed up here and all that. I'll let it play out. But this part right here, like I want him to do a Kamehameha and then it goes through, hits the enemy, and then this this right here, this explosion. Oh my god, that as like a KO screen. Imagine this explosion right here at the end as like a like you know it does the huge explosion, and then. It's just like this right here with like a KO shot. Oh my god, it would look so beautiful. Like I just, I just really love this shot and the very first shot of it. So, it's funnily enough though, I actually did pull some of the scenes from the Xenoverse Two intro. So this part with Goku launching the Kamehameha and stuff, that's all from the Xenoverse Two intro. Because from the in the movie, it goes from this to like some of the other characters talking, and then it jumps to Goku already doing the Kamehameha. So, and I did kind of like change the order of it and stuff. You know, just kind of spliced it up to make it look like one. Kamehameha from this scene, which I, I just think it's fitting for an 18 key for Goku to be doing a Kamehameha. And this is just one of the cleanest looking ones of him in base form in general, and but especially it being for Resurrection F gives it points. But I just love the idea of that being the KO screen right here, this big explosion. But yeah. So then next, we're going to get into, oh, hold on, Vegeta's 12 and 18 key. So as you can see, uh, I'll explain this right here of Vegeta being... A super saiyan and all that we'll talk about it but first the, the 12 key so i actually this part right here is from the anime vegeta like charging up his aura and then i think they could again just do some punches and kicks i just uh felt like you know when he was fighting goku there that that was the best like punches and kicks they could use um but i just really think that this shot right here this is actually from the anime so for vegeta i did pull stuff from the anime actually because he didn't really do much in base form in the movie so yeah, I just think that this part with him like charging up his aura is really cool. Uh, and then, like I said, just some random punches and kicks. And, and if you couldn't tell there, at the end, I pulled from the anime. Just because base Vegeta, like I said, in both the anime and the movie, he didn't really do much in base during Resurrection F. So I went ahead and jumped to the Universe 6 tournament because he's in the same outfit, you know. Uh, so they could probably pull stuff from this. The reason I use this scene, though, of Vegeta, like, doing the punch and punching Megeta down is because that kind of matches the Goku sledgehammer I had. So, you know, Goku would do a sledgehammer, launch the opponent into the ground, while Vegeta just does this punch to do it after some punches and kicks, you know. And, like I said, just take all this with a grain of salt. Like, you know, again, this video is just a concept. There's probably some better stuff I could have used for both Goku and Vegeta for their super attacks. But this was just like the first thing I thought of when I like I was looking at scenes. I put these together. This was just like the first idea I had. I'm not saying it would be these exact scenes. This is just kind of like a general concept of what I think they could be. So the next would be the 18 key. So again, I really like this beginning part of him like charging up. And then he pulls up the hands for the Gallic gun. So, you know, since Goku's 18 key was a Kamehameha, I had to give Vegeta a Gallic gun. You know, it was just fitting. Especially because it's Resurrection F Vegeta like... You know, I just felt like giving Vegeta a Gallic gun when Goku has the Kamehameha is fitting. Um, and this right here is kind of funny. The part where he puts his arms up. Because if you notice, there's they love using this shot for units. Like, I think GT Vegeta has this. And the second most recent unit I can think of is Kaba. And Kaba you, does this pose, like, at this angle and everything. For both his normal super attack and his unit super. And I'm talking about the Ink Kaba that came out with Kale and Khalifa, by the way. Which actually is the newest banner out on global right now as at the time of me recording this so yeah they love using that angle with the hands going up so i could see them doing that for the 18 key but again this is all from the magetta tournament or not tournament the magetta um fight during the universe 6 tournament so obviously they could even pull from because we've seen it with like tech gogeta and stuff they like to pull things from heroes so maybe there's something in heroes they could use that i didn't even think about there, there's so many possibilities but i just think since that goku had a kamameha i wanted to match that with the vegeta giving him a Gallic gun. So, yeah, that's basically where that came from. So, anyways, moving on to the next thing, we have the transformations for Goku and Vegeta. So, for, so it's probably going to be exactly what you expect, but let's go ahead and watch them anyway. So, again, it's base Goku charging up like this. The rocks are flying. I bet Literally, all of this is just pulled straight out the movie. Then it goes like this, and then it does the camera swirl around him 
onto his face. And since this would be, for my concept, it would be an active skill transformation. So we'll have a little line right here of Goku talking, right? And then he's going to put his head down. And that's where it would like fade out. The reason I actually did the talking scene though after this is because that is something they did for Blue Goku's intro for fighters. They had the camera swirl around him and all that. And then he does this scene with the little talking which well, that's what we'll talk about this in a second but let's look at vegeta's transformation so basically the same thing he just charges up the blue aura shows up you know it even does the little thing from the art like i said like this impact frame from the base form art and then again the camera swirls around him and then it zooms in the aura bursts i have him like landing on the ground here because this is actually exactly what happened in the movie when he transformed he lands on the ground and then he talks to frieza and starts walking so they could do that, but I th the reason this picture's down here is because in the fighter's version of Blue Vegeta's intro, he actually does this pose right here instead of like doing the walk here like he does in the movie. He just does this pose with his fist and then starts talking. So I could see them pulling that to match the Goku putting his hand up. Just pull from the Vegeta putting his fist up to talk. Because, you know, it's an active skill and those usually have lines. So, you know, we'd probably hear Goku like screaming here when he powers up like we'd hear the scream with all the sound effects and then here at the end he would talk so same thing with vegeta that's why the little fighters picture is there so then so next we have blue goku's art so these are just three different you know ideas i think they could use for blue goku's art the this one in the top right is mainly just like it's a gift just to show how the aura could work but yeah so we have just blue goku in like this pose here blue goku kind of looking down and then him when he's actually talking and then for Blue Vegeta, which is after that, we have these arts. So if you notice the with the both of them, I kind of basically have, like, they basically have matching arts is what I was going for here. So, you know, we have this one with Vegeta smiling, and then Goku's, like, posed and smiling. They could do the same thing for Vegeta here. And then Vegeta's kind of looking down, and Goku's also looking down at his, and then the talking scene. I just think this would be really cool to go like you know side by side like just because if you have both lrs you know it'd be kind of cool matching art there but now let's get into the super attacks again so first we have blue goku's 12 key super so again for this i kind of just pulled stuff from the movie so he like you know knocks the enemy down into the water and then like he does that teleport knee i thought that was pretty cool and then he just flies up and rains down a bunch of key blasts i just think you know it was a cool little super attack they could use and then again, just like with the base Goku 12 key, this screen right here screamed like that's where the numbers show up or even maybe a KO screen or something. Uh, well, actually, I don't think 12 keys can have KO screens. So yeah, there was, um, there's that that they could do though. Just, you know, he, he's raining down key blasts. And then for his 18 key, he throws like this kick, spins around, does another kick, and then they pull the Kamehameha from the very end of the movie. The reason I spliced those two scenes together, which I think that Kamehameha is pretty sick too, you know? So yeah, it's just a big ball comes at you and then boom. <laughs> just like that. And then yeah, it even has like this little effect. They Obviously, they probably want to do all that. Maybe, though. But I think that, you know, the terrain getting destroyed and all that is cool. And then this very last part right here with him being in base would actually be the KO screen. So, you know, he wipes his brow and all that and then yeah i just think him being back in base after doing the kamehameha is perfect for a ko screen um so i really for all i think all three of the videos i did i only gave ko screens to like the highest transformation and the 18 key for the lr so blue goku's 18 key is the only one with the ko screen because i think that's actually how it works in dokkan i'm actually not sure don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure that's how it works the only time there's a ko screen is like if it's a transforming unit, it's after they transformed and it's their 18 key. So yeah, um, so you're probably noticing this picture down here. So the reason I have, you know, Blue Goku versus Frieza from Kakara is because there was this other video I saw while I was making this concept. Someone said that maybe there's this scene that they could use from Kakara during this fight that they could use for a Dokkan Fest Blue Goku for Resurrection F, but I didn't want to just steal the idea, you know? So I'm actually going to go ahead and link that video down below in the description and comments so you can see the whole scene. And, you know, I think the guy even put, like, the actual Dokkan effects on it. I don't remember. But I'll link the video down below so you can see it. I just wanted to point out that that's actually a really good idea and something I didn't think of myself. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out because that's actually a really, really good idea, having the Kakarot scene. But... So next we have blue Vegeta's 12 and 18 key super attack. So let's go ahead and play this 12 key. So for that, he's going to, you know, pull up on Frieza, do the gut punch, the iconic gut punch, then beat him up a little more. 
punch him into the air, and then do this from the anime where he does the like the volley of punches, just beating down on Frieza until literally, like literally beating down on him until he hits the ground. Oh, it lagged a little bit there. Until he hits the ground. So yeah, that would be. I just think that would be a cool 12 key. There's, if you notice though, there's actually some stuff you can kind of tell just by the quality that there's some stuff from the anime and the movie here because both the anime and the movie did the punch, but there were some things I think each one did better. So this is from the movie, you know, the initial setup to the punch. But then Vegeta doing the little pose here is from the anime. And then the actual impact is from the movie because it was just way better in the movie. But yeah, I just think this would be a neat little combo they could use. And it's a pretty iconic scene from the, from the anime, actually. So yeah. The next is 18 key, of course. You know, he's beating down on Frieza. You know, just, they could just do some punches. Then he kicks him back and goes into the big bang attack. Because this is, again, another iconic scene for Vegeta from Resurrection F. So he's charging the big bang attack and then it just blows up you know whatever they want to do for the kill screen and stuff and yeah this would be the ko screen oh that was a little bit of lag this would be the ko screen like i said with the goku he's in base form so you know like he's holding his hand out like this and then obviously he wouldn't be talking the camera would probably just pan like this you know or something but i just think him you know post big bang attack being back in base form just like blue goku's ko screen again like i just tried to match the two units when i made this so yeah that's what i think vegeta's 18 key would be and yeah like i said the reason the main reason i have him like doing a little combo and kicking freeze up or the enemy back before the big bang attack is to match how blue goku does his little kick before launching the kamehameha in what i said for his 18 key so yeah so the next we're gonna get into the next segment which is so these units, I think, would be sick if they had a... Um, you know how Tech Gogeta has the super attack nullification? I think these two units should also get that because I think that the only two units right now that have that are Tech Gogeta and Physical Janemba. And it's like, I think it's just such a cool mechanic. And for these things I'm about to show you, it makes so much sense for Blue Goku and Vegeta. So obviously... Blue Goku strike nullification and his... Or I think it should be a nullification and a counter, by the way. That might be a little bit overkill, so that's why I put slash. So it can be either be just a nullification or a nullification and a counter that like actually does damage. So for Blue Goku's, it would be... You know, literally when he gets punched in the face by Frieza. So it'd be this scene, and then he does the one-inch punch. Because, oh, again, another just iconic scene from Resurrection F. That one-inch punch, oh my god. So... Yeah, you know, he would nullify whatever, like, a probably, like like I said, a strike super attack, and then counter with the one-inch punch. Uh, probably, they'd probably call it, like, Super God Shock Flash, like, from Xenoverse. And then for Vegeta, again, from Xenoverse, as you can see, he would have the counter burst move, where he slaps away the key blast, and then it gets launched right back at the enemy. So, I just think that would be fitting, because they put this into Z Blue Vegeta's moveset in Xenoverse. So, and again... Dokkan has actually pulled from Xenoverse before, so it's not like this is unheard of. Uh, they pulled from Xenoverse for Tech Vegito Blue, I believe, the LR, when he does his Spirit Sword. That's actually from Xenoverse. So this wouldn't be the first time they pulled from Xenoverse, so I could see them using the counter burst. Because again, Vegeta getting a key counter, Goku getting a strike one would be cool. So yeah, that, that's the main reasoning for that. So then the next thing we have are the side units. Now before I actually talk about that, I want to point out how you probably saw I don't have any leader skills or passive skills or any of that stuff listed for Goku and Vegeta. And that's going to be a thing for all three parts of this video series because I didn't want to, you know, I wasn't the person to sit down and try to figure out like, you know, how Dokkan usually builds their units. Like it would have just taken a lot of research to truly build an ideal like passive and all that for them. So I was mainly just going, um, with you know the super attacks and that kind of stuff so yeah just like there are in super attacks just basic concepts of what i think the celebrations focus would be i'm not going deep into like what these units w would do or like their usability and stuff just basic things you know so anyways let's get into the side units now so my first idea for a side unit is and by side units i mean the unit that comes along with the lr on the banner so you know like ajo ui goku had the tech gohan and piccolo and then Blue Vegeta had the Frieza and Gohan, the Golden Frieza and Gohan. So that's what I mean by side units. So the first thing I thought of is a Master Roshi. Um, the reason, and this would be on Goku's banner, by the way. The reason I said I have him as Master Roshi is just because, uh, well, we don't really have like too many Master Roshis in the game right now. And I just think, I mean, I did, to be fair, we did just get like that free to play one. But I just picked Master Roshi as like the base for the art. 
and the, the le on the left would be like his SSR art, right? And then on the right, when you Dokkan awaken him, it would be Master Roshi with the Z Warriors. Because again, another iconic thing for Resurrection F is when all the Z Warriors got together to fight against Frieza's army. So yeah, but this would be the first time they ever do like a Z Fighters quote unquote card. So I don't know if they're going to want to do it here, but yeah. But these are just like some two things I picked that they could do for the art. And then the next side you unit is actually the one i would be most excited for is the jacko uh, mainly because if you look on the left that picture of him like pointing at his drawing of frieza i think that would be hilarious ssr art like i don't know to me like i saw that and i was like it it's ssr like i can already imagine pulling a jacko with him just in this pose pointing at his art like it, it would be so perfect i'd love it and then his um awakened art could just be you know him doing this pose or the you know him pointing the gun out like he does in legends so you know, just whatever. But I, I would like, lo I'd love a Jacko to be a side unit. But then we get into the super attacks here. So for Master Roshi and then the Z Warriors, you see that they're kind of the same. It's because this one is would just be their unawakened and then awakened super attacks. I honestly, it doesn't really matter because like for most of these units, it's probably gonna be the same. The reason I did it here though was because technically this Roshi changes into more characters later before he's away after he gets awakened. So his normal SSR just unawakened super attack would just be him jumping off and doing the kamehameha but then when he's actually awakened as you know a tur it would be you know he starts a super attack he jumps up charges up the kamehameha and then we get attacks like piccolo tien krillin gohan they're all charging up and then all of them launch their attacks at the same time and then just it's just this huge explosion and everything just all of them doing attacks all together as the z warriors i think that would be cool and I think it's just the most fitting thing because, you know, again, they all fought against Frieza's army. So all of them just doing their own little attack there would be cool. So and then for the next side unit, we have my boy Jacko. So Jacko, I feel like his unawakened and awakened super attack would just be the same thing. I think it makes most sense to use this scene for Resurrection F when he shoots all these Frieza soldiers legs and then does a little pose at the end. I just think this would be hilarious. It's like a quick little super attack. You know, he just does the sh the shooting like i could see him getting like maybe a lot of additionals or something because of how quick the super attack is because i don't know i just think this would be hilarious and maybe he could even stun the enemy because he shoots like i'm like i said i'm not going to get into writing out how these passives and all that would work but I, i'm just spitballing here <laughs> but yeah that would be jacko super attack just because it's again a little a funny little scene they had for him and yeah so then the next thing we're going to get into is the free to play unit so one thing i will say right now is for the free to play units and the side units to me those are kind of interchangeable so any of the free to play units i list on here could be side units but based on who they are i don't think they would be and that's the reason i made them free to play units because if you notice we don't really have anything going for frieza in this celebration so far it's all been goku vegeta based that's why i think jacko and uh, the Roshi or the Z Warriors being on the side as the side banner units would make the most sense. Oh, and the reason Jacko is a side banner unit for Vegeta is because I just feel like he has the most like his relationship with Vegeta is deeper than it is with Goku because you know Jacko always is going on adventures with Bulma and stuff. So I feel like he's interacting more with Vegeta. So I just think he fits a bit better with Vegeta's banner. But uh, yeah, so I think the free to play units could be side units. I'm ma I'm mainly thinking of the other videos I made where those are kind of interchangeable with this one not so much just because of who the characters are which we'll get into right now first one is shisami just because we don't actually even have a, U a tur shisami in the game so i think at least giving us like some like a free to play one just something would just match the resurrection f celebration you know and then the second one which you could probably guess is tagoma now this one i think they should pull stuff from the anime too so it would start watch well, actually i think tagoma was only in the anime now i'm thinking about it but yeah, so they could do, you know, Tagoma just standing there. And then his TUR, when you don't awaken it, would be Tagoma with Captain Ginyu. Just because Ginyu actually body changes with Tagoma, like his, in his little frog form. So they could, you know, make his card like this. Kind of like what they did with Candy Vegito here. That's why Candy Vegito is here, just to show off the effect. So it would be Tagoma in the front with this Ginyu in the same pose in the background. I just think that that would be a really nice little touch for a Tagoma, a free-to-play Tagoma unit, just because... Ginyu actually does show up during that. So now let's get into the super attacks. So uh, Sashimi. Did I call him Shisami earlier? I meant Sashimi. No, wait. His name is Shisami. I just typed Sashimi. You already mean to. But I do have two different super attacks here for him. 
I don't think that he would have a different like SSR and then TUR super attack, but these are just two different ones they could use. But I thought of, so, you know, there's this one from the movie, punches Piccolo back and then launches a key blast at him, and that's basically it. And then they have this one, which I believe is from the anime, where he's actually doing like all these punches and stuff, and then he comes up and grabs Gohan. And okay, so this part right here where he's falling, imagine that but backwards. So instead of Sashimi fall or she saw me falling here, I can't believe I actually typed Sashimi. Uh, but instead of she saw me falling here, imagine it's like the enemy, whoever you're fighting, they're falling down to the ground. It wouldn't be him after doing a super attack, you know? But I think just him like running up, doing those punches, and then squeezing you, that'd be a pretty cool super attack for him too. So yeah, so then the next one we have is Tagama. Now Tagama, I think, would have two different super attacks, just because when he's awakened, he becomes Tagama with Ginyu. So his unawakened uh, super attack would just be this, you know? He gets punched in the face. Now, I don't think Dokkan's going to do something as brutal as showing him ripping off someone's arm, you know? But at the very least, they can use the little combo here. And then this part, it gets cut off here because they don't actually show it. Because I think he gets interrupted by Gotenks or something. But he does a little sledgehammer. Like, they could have him do a sledgehammer move there. If you couldn't tell, I kind of like sledgehammer moves. So they could have him do a little sledgehammer there. So... Yeah, I think that would be cool. And I, I mean, instead of like ripping off Piccolo's arm here, they could probably have him just at least grab the arm and then go into the punches and stuff. So yeah, and then for the Ginyu one, this was... The reason I actually have this one different is because this part of the anime, Ginyu was actually in Tagoma's body here. So that's why I think this would be a fitting super attack. So he runs up, does this little combo, spins you around, and then throws you into the wall. And then just start spamming all these key blasts at you. Because like I said, this was actually Ginyu in Tagama's body here. So I think that would just be fitting. Because again, it's just an actual scene with Ginyu as Tagama. So yeah. Then the next thing is a carrot. So this would be another free-to-play unit that I think they need to doke on Awaken. Which honestly, this slide right here is like the whole reason I made this Resurrection F concept. Because let me tell you, this blue Goku... I think he was like a login celebrate. I forgot how you got him, but I know it was like a long time. It's been like four or five years at this point since this card was in the game. I have him in my box, which is actually, well, that's why if you see here, I'm going to trigger so many people, but he's SA level two here. And uh, that's, you know, again, that's just because this is actually the one from my box. So yeah, I've had this unit ever since he came out though. And he doesn't actually have a Dokkan Awakening or anything like that. So I think that would be cool if they do like a little event where you can get a like kind of like if you guys remember if you guys were there for that AGL Spirit Bomb Goku because he was also an exclusive unit at first but then they did an event later where you could get him for free and then you know grind him up and actually you know Dokkan kind of Awaken him and stuff and get him rainbowed which is actually they did that recently too with that physical base Goku uh you know the one where he's like flexing his muscles I think he also got an easy A too right so at the very least, though, I want them to Dokkan Awaken this blue Goku because he only, like, this art right here, this is it. Like, you can make him an SSR, but he ha he doesn't have any form of a UR. So I think just giving him, like, two Dokkan Awakenings, making him up to a TUR would just be perfect. Because, like I said, this unit's been in the game forever, and they've done nothing with him at all. And I really want them to do something. I want to just be able to max him out, you know, because I've had this unit for so long. And I think doing it, doing him as, like, a free-to-play unit from, like, some sort of event would be cool and speaking of events the next section of this powerpoint is the story events so these are just what i think they could do for story events for the celebration because they always have story events so the first thing would be on the left bringing back that event because this is actually a resurrection f event it's the training for vengeance which is a reference to when he trains with tagama and to become golden so they could bring back that story event because this story event actually has not come back yet which is why i kind of think maybe a resurrection f celebration is possible for like the anniversary or something like like i said i'm not time slotting any of these but i think it's possible purely because this celebration right here has not come back yet so i don't know what they're saving it for or what or maybe they're just waiting for a celebration where it makes sense i don't know but this this event has not come back and this is actually the reason why i don't have a sorbet under the celebration at all just because this unit's super attack because it's a tech golden frieza with sorbet and he does the laser beam which is what like literally the laser beam is a super attack i would have given him but we already have it so no reason to have sorbet because he's already a free-to-play unit so they could bring that story event back and just you know let us grind it up and like they've always done you know they bring back events and let us just use like get the unit during the celebration and then now this one on the right 
is like the classic like really old resurrection f like there's actually a story event called resurrection f so they could bring that back but as you can see at the top i think they should revamp it because they've done that before they've done that for so many different story events they will take old ones and revamp them to you know give them like better drop rates or maybe even add stuff to it, like add new units or you know stuff like that they could just revamp this super attack or super attack revamp this story event just because it's such an old story event i think it deserves to be revamped and it would just be per again perfect like it fits perfectly with the resurrection f celebration it's literally an old resurrection f story event so like a revamp would be just beautiful so the next section though of this is easy a so again again since it's a celebration they usually always do easy a some units during those like they give them extreme z awakening so i think the units that need it the most though are specifically these two blue vegetas now if you notice i don't have any blue gokus on here and that's because actually all of the blue gokus from resurrection f already have easy a's and I think there's only one other blue Vegeta who also has an easy A from like he's from resurrection or well, I shouldn't say easy A because there is the tech blue Vegeta and the physical blue Goku, but those ones just got Dokkan awakens recently and they're really good. So I don't think they're going to get easy A's. So if anyone's going to get easy A's, it'd be these two. I can't really think of another unit that would though, but if you guys have any ideas, let me know uh, down in the comments and yeah, so but I just think these two would be perfect just because there are Resurrection F Vegetas that don't have easy A's right now. And so, you know, they could just easy A them and it would be fitting. So then we're not done here, though. So you probably thought we we're getting close to the end. There is one more little section here, which is the part two LR. Because, you know, obviously, Dokkan, every time it's an anniversary, at least, there's always a second LR. So I just put this here in case this does end up being like an anniversary celebration or something. This is what the second LR would be for that. So obviously, the one person we haven't talked about out of Resurrection F is, well, F himself, which is, you know, Frieza. Uh, we haven't talked about Frieza. So I think an LR Golden Frieza would just be perfectly fitting. And these, again, are just some of the arts I thought they could do. Something that they actually have done before with a Golden Frieza, which I didn't include a picture of it here. But there's an AGL Golden Frieza in the game. And there's also the Tech Blue Goku and the Physical Blue Vegeta, the nuking leads they all actually have arts that connect to each other so golden frieza for example the agl one in the background of his art you can see blue goku and vegeta and then for the background of blue goku and vegeta you can see golden frieza in the background so i think that would be a really cool thing if they did something like that but in lr form so you know something similar like golden frieza you see blue goku and vegeta in the back and then for blue goku and vegeta you have half of golden frieza's face i don't know if they want if they'd want to do that again but some sort of like connecting art like that a second time would be kind of sick so now let's get into frieza's super attack so again just something i kind of threw together is they can have him like do this little smile just because like I, I feel like that smile at the beginning is so very dokkan and then he flies up to you wraps you with his tail and then blasts you in the face just because you know again i thought that this little blast scene was pretty cool so but i think this little smile at the beginning right before he actually lunges forward for the super attack it's like to me it's so dokkan like it's absolutely something dokkan would do like just imagine it this is this right here with the smile would be where the little wheel shows up showing his attack stat and then it just gets into the super like again just so very dokkan to me and again i did just splice up some scenes together and it's not the cleanest transition i won't lie but just something i thought could work for a super attack and then for the 18 key I think they should actually pull from Final Form Frieza because he does this huge, like, energy ball thing in the movie, which is where, again, that Goku pose comes from when he does the Kamehameha. So I just think this huge energy ball, like, just coming down and, like, exploding would be fitting for Golden Frieza. Now, obviously, this Frieza, they could make him a Final Form Frieza that transforms into Golden Frieza. The only reason I didn't do that, though, is I don't think they've ever had a Part 2 LR that is a transforming unit. So that's the, like, unless I'm wrong, I could be wrong about that. I know they do have two, I think two part two LRs that had rage mechanics, which was, uh, the Int Goku Black, he has a rage mechanic, and so does Physical Janemba, I believe. I think those two units have rage mechanics, and they were part two LRs, but I don't think we have any part two LRs that were proper transforming units, so that's why this Frieza is just a golden Frieza. I could be wrong on that, but from what I remember, I think that is true, which is why I just played it safe and went just a normal golden freezer because it's just what i think would be the most likely so 
Okay, so next we have Golden Frieza's active skill. So again, since it's Resurrection F, the only thing that could be an active skill for a Frieza is him blowing up the planet. Now, I chose like, I chose to show like basically the whole scene here, but I think this shot right here, and I am skipping through it right now, I'm sorry, but this shot right here with his arm like in front of the camera, I think that'd be a sick shot in Dokkan. I could like I think that would just look so cool. But yeah, so it's just him doing this, and then you know, this is kind of long here, so I'm just gonna kind of skim through it. But it shows like you know him blowing up the planet. It shows the the obviously this active skill would not be this long, but yeah. So you know, it's just showing the planet getting destroyed, and then it just explodes at the end here, which you know it's gonna take a minute to get there. But yeah, it's just gonna be like boom, just like that. So I think that would be the per like a perfect active skill for Frieza. That could even be like an AOE active skill kind of thing, because again. That's like the most, that's like the best scene they can use for an active skill for a Frieza, you know? So, although he's not a transforming unit, he does still have an active skill. So, before we go though, there is one last section which I'm calling honorable, honorable mentions. Because these are things I think they could also maybe do for the celebration. But, based on my concept, I didn't really fit it in there. So, the first thing is a teen Gohan. I think that him as a side unit by himself on Goku's banner is definitely a possibility. Uh, like maybe they don't want to do a Z fighter. So I think a teen Gohan and then him going Super Saiyan here would make sense. I don't have a super like a super attack concept for him because I'm gonna just be honest, this took me a long time to make. Um, but you know, you could probably imagine like it'd be like a Masenko or maybe even just the scene of him pu punching Sashimi or Shisami. I keep calling him Sashimi. Shisami. But then the very last thing that we're going to talk about here is again something that's possible but i'm gonna say is probably not gonna happen so there's all of these golden frieza's right here so if you know what this don't know what this is this is a really old thing they did a long time ago and you like if you're noticing there's like three str ones and two agl so basically they took a bunch of frieza's that were already in the game i think this might have been like because resurrection f came out and that because the last thing time they did anything resurrection f was like years ago but i think it might have been because the movie came out like i think the movie came out like right before dokkan came out or something like that i don't remember but they did like this huge resurrection f celebration so what they did was they took a bunch of freezes that were already in the game like i think these like these str ones were all like first sr first form freezes and they dokkan awakened all of them into golden freezes so they all have like the same art i think they only have different like passives and stuff and you can see like their stat numbers are different um, so the reason this is here on the honorable mention section though is because these guys are not actually TURs So if they really wanted to They could give us these as free-to-play units and then give them all a TUR doke on awakenings I don't think it's gonna happen though Just because there's a lot of them that share the exact same type like there's three STR freezes I, I actually yeah, there's three STR ones two int ones two AGL and two tech so there's not like none of these freezes are just like single ones the only one this doesn't have is physical but yeah so that's why i don't think that they're gonna touch this but i thought i would talk about it anyways just because it's something they did a long time ago and it was just a really interesting move like i, I even i don't have all these freezes awakened into golden form i think i only have one of them i think it's an int one because it was the mecha frieza because I, I used to use that mecha frieza a lot but yeah so that's just something i think is you know they might possibly do but i highly doubt it honestly but yeah, so that's it for this video, though. That was my Dokkan Battle concept for Resurrection F. Like I said, this is going to be a three-part thing. I don't know when all three videos are going to go up, though. Uh, mainly because I'm still working on the third one right now. Like, I haven't finished the third PowerPoint. But I have the first two done, so I was recording them today. But, yeah, so that's my concept for Resurrection F. Let me know what you guys think. So what I'm actually going to do, though, is if you guys have your own ideas for what this celebration could be. Like, maybe I forgot to put something or you want to add something to it maybe you want to put what the stats would be of these characters like the leader skills and all that be my guest go ahead so what i'm gonna do is if i can figure it out i'm gonna put a google drive link in the description so that way you guys can save your own copy of this powerpoint and then go ahead and add whatever you want to it and maybe share it around on like reddit twitter whatever you want to do but yeah I'm, so i'm gonna leave it down below if y'all want to add to this but this is just my concept you know my basic concept and i'm letting you guys add to it or if you don't want to download the whole google drive maybe just you know you can drop a comment leaving what you think i should have added or things i should take out or just what you, what your concept would be for let's go with that so you can base it off of my concept if you want but what would your concept be you can leave that in the comments or 
go ahead and download that Google Drive and you know save your own copy of this PowerPoint. I'm not gonna let people edit the original one. Uh, but yeah, save your own copy of it and then go and um, you know go ahead and share it on Twitter. If you do share it on Twitter though, and it was actually my PowerPoint you use, uh, go ahead and look in the description and go to my Twitter page and make sure you tag me when you guys use these. I'd love to see what you guys come up with for concepts because I'm sure some of you are gonna do way better than I did. But I'd just be in really interested to see it because, um, like I said, I'm I love Dokkan. The game's doing really good right now, and I think a Resurrection F celebration just has so much potential. But yeah. That's it for me though. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you, you know, tell me your concepts down in the comments below or tag me on Twitter with your concepts if you use the Google Drive and all that. But yeah, until next time though, I'll see you all later and peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.